In this problem, we have two billiard balls, they both have the same mass, and we're given the directions of their initial motion. The first ball is mentioned to be going at a speed, 2 meters per second, and the other one's going the opposite speed. So I'm going to label this ball, the ball with the speed of 2 meters per second, as ball A, and I'm going to say that it is moving to the right, or, or at least in like the positive axis. That's how I'm going to define the axis, which means that the other ball's speed is has a negative velocity, a negative a speed in the negative direction, because of the fact that it's in the opposite direction. Now, for this problem, we're told that the collision is totally elastic, which means that energy is saved in the collision, which means that we have a few options for equations we can use. One of the equations that is often seen in textbooks and is very easy to derive relates the initial speeds to the final speeds in the collision. And that equation looks like this. It says that the, uh, the initial speed of one of the balls minus the initial speed of the other, I guess not balls, but objects colliding. This is a pretty general equation in that regard. VA minus VB is equal to the negative of VA prime, that's the final speed of A, minus VB prime. So we, this relationship gives us the, the relationship between the speeds before and after the collision only for elastic collisions. So the fact that this, so the fact that this problem describes an elastic collision is what allows us to use this equation. But uh, because we have both of the initial speeds, but neither of the final speeds, we can only use this equation right now to solve for either of the final speeds individually in terms of the other one we're missing. So in the case of this problem, VA minus VB, that's just going to be the same as 2 meters per second minus negative 3.6 meters per second. So the negatives cancel out and we're basically adding the magnitudes. So VA, the speed of A, minus the speed of, or the velocity rather, of B, is equal to 5.60 meters per second. And that's equal to negative VA prime plus, the minus signs cancel out, VB prime. So if we wanted to, I could solve this equation for VB prime to isolate that one variable on its own. By adding, by adding both sides of this equation, um, VA. So VB prime, for example, is equal to 5.60 meters per second plus VA prime. And this is an equation that we can't do much with right now. We can hold it in, we can hold it in our pocket and use it later, and it'll prove to be useful. So now let's just use our formula for the law of conservation of momentum. And we all know the formula. It's MAVA plus MBVB. This is just the, the standard formula for the law of conservation of momentum. Of course, the masses aren't changing, but the speeds are. Except, as you might have already realized, there is already one way that we can very easily simplify this equation. Because the problem tells us that both balls have equal mass. MA is equal to MB. And this is important. This is very helpful to us because since all, that means all of these M values have the exact same value, which means they can all be canceled out. And we can rewrite this much more simply as VA plus VB is equal to VA prime plus VB prime. And this is very nice because we can use this, we can take this other equation we found and plug this into this new equation we have, and it'll turn this into a, an equation with only one unknown value. So VA plus VB, that's 2 plus minus 3.6 meters per second. So this term on the left is equal to 1.60 meters per second, negative. And this part on the right, I'm going to say VA prime plus, and instead of writing VB prime, I'm going to plug in 
what we found VB prime to be equal to this equation over here. So is so the right side of the equation is VA prime plus another VA prime plus V point six or five point six zero meters per second. Now that we have this, the only unknown in the equation is the VA prime. So we can just solve this equation now for that. So first I'm going to subtract both sides of this equation uh, by 5.60 meters per second to get this on its own, and that's just negative 7.2 meters per second. And on the right here we have VA prime plus VA prime, so that's 2 VA prime. And if we want to solve for VA prime, we just divide both sides of this equation by 2. And that's what I'm going to do. And if we put this into our calculator, we find that VA prime, the final speed for ball A, is equal to negative 3.60 meters per second. So this is the final speed of ball A, and since it's negative, that means it's moving in the opposite direction that it started with. So it's moving in the opposite direction. And now that we have VA prime, we can plug this into the equation we found earlier for VB prime, since before VA prime was the only other unknown we had. But now that we know what that is, we can plug that variable into this, and we can solve for VB prime. And we find that, we find that that has a value of positive 2.00 meters per second. And the fact that it's positive indicates that it is going in the, in the positive direction, or rather in what we defined to be the positive direction, which is opposite to the speed, to the velocity that it started with. So there we go. Now we have the speeds and final directions of both the balls in this collision. That is all for this video. I hope it helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you out. If this video did help you and answered all your questions, I please consider subscribing and or telling your friends about this channel because that'll help me out greatly in making more videos like this. But, uh, but that's all for this video, and I hope you all have a lovely night. Bye-bye.